The question is now, what next for the Kansas City Chiefs? And they already have told you what's next. What's next is a three-peat. Yeah. That's what's next for them. Yep. They want to go and be the first ever to do three in a row. Now, many have done what they've done, which is go back-to-back. Patriots and Broncos and your Cowboys. Steelers. 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 Rack Packers. Dolphins. There you go. So I think we got them all right. We've we we've uh, we've run through a list. There's only one that would be the list, and that would be three in a row. It's the magic number. The question is though for Brett Veach, the general manager, is how to do that. It's simple: resign everybody, right? Hey, easy. Hey. <laughs> Money. Ain't Problem thing. is, is Chris Jones probably wants to be paid the highest paid player in the history of the defensive side of the ball. He wants to be play- paid like a quarterback. No doubt. He wants to be paid like Aaron Donald. And uh, we kind of hit that on our Overreaction Monday podcast yesterday. And um, you know, he deserves it. He deserves it. Yeah, he wrecked that game yesterday. Well, I, and again, Sunday, you know. We had our conversation yesterday about Brock Purdy. You know, I have said, listen, I think this guy played a terrific football game. And he missed some throws. And one throw in particular that you mentioned, Debo Samuel is wide open. And he overthrew him. And that's something that Niner fans can lament. Although it didn't happen in the last two minutes of game after they had just lost the lead like Super Bowl 54. And look back at that tape. Look back at that play. Chris Jones is bursting through, and that was the end of the amount of time that Purdy had to maybe set his feet. Couldn't set his feet. Yeah, over time, Brandon Ayuk is wide open, but Chris Jones unblocked. There you go. We have the photograph up right now, and I appreciate our crack staff for uh, following along and supporting graphically and photographically what we're talking about here. They're good at that. Yeah, you know. So you got to pay him. And then there's the case of... Legarius Sneed, frequent caller in front of this program. Lewis Riddick, who was in that booth again with uh, Fowler and and Dan Orlovsky. Um, he said on Twitter that McDuffie and Legarius Sneed are the best one-two combination at cornerback in the NFL. And that was retweeted with essentially a seconding of that motion, emotion yesterday. By Patrick Mahomes. I guess he had service at Disney World. <laughs> Disney, Disneyland? I think uh, he was out here. Was he? I think he was out here. Oh, Disneyland. Yeah, I think it was at Disneyland. Mm. My apologies to the good folks down there in Anaheim. Of course. Got to pay him. Got to pay him. And those are just two of the many free agents that he has. Got to make sure Travis Kelsey comes back, right? Imperative. I think... He, 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 I don't know what's going on in his brain. TV beckons if he wants. No doubt. No doubt. So put it all together, and he's got to make a decision about going all in for a three-peat. The, the best possible world would be just keeping these guys, and it doesn't mean you go all in to the point where next year, the year after the year after that, you got to take a cap relief year. The other pushback is cap relief year, whatever. In this day and age where you're supposed to be what the Niners are, which is have a kid in his first year of his contract and you win a Super Bowl and a kid in his first year of his contract. The Chiefs just won the Super Bowl with a quarterback counting the most against the cap of any human being in the league this year, 37 million Patrick Mahomes. It's the first time we've really seen that. So... The question is, is the three-peat, how do you pull that one off? Make sure that you could continue on because that's the key here. Because at some point, Andy Reid won't be there in Mahomes' career. And at some point, Kelsey won't be there in Mahomes' career. And what the Patriots used to do was somehow keep it sustained for Brady. They at least had Belichick there the entire time. How do you go ahead and continue to do that if you're Brett Veach? Chris, you've got the numbers from the Patriots dynasty. And this is what the Chiefs need to aim for right here. This is what they're aiming for long term. Because in the same way that Mahomes is set up to catch and surpass Brady personally, the Chiefs are in position to catch and 
surpass the Patriots long term as well, based on this last six year run. What do you have over there, Chris? So it's kind of started uh, very similarly. As we know, Patrick Mahomes didn't play his first year. Uh, Tom Brady did not play his first year. And then they rattled off three Super Bowls in four years for New England. It's now three and five uh, for the Chiefs. Then the Patriots, um, from basically from 2001 until 2019, they missed the playoffs one time. That was 2002, not counting 08 when Brady, of course, did not play. Knocked out. Uh, in the first few minutes of week one, they still won 11 games that year. So they had two, three Super Bowl runs, obviously the three and four in the beginning of Tom's year, and then the three and five uh, near the back end, but made the playoffs every single year there. Otherwise, uh, give 2002. Lost in the division round in 05. Lost in the conference championship in 06. Lost the Super Bowl in 07. Lost wild card round 09. Lost division round 10, lost Super Bowl in 11, conference championships in 12 and 13. And that's when they hit it again. And then they hit three out of five again for Super Bowls and then lost in the wild card when it was all over in 2019. So that's 18 seasons of Hmm. winning the division, making the playoffs. So they're a third of the way home. Exactly. Halfway home Super Bowls, a third of the way home in terms of years. So if you're Brett Veach, that's your goal as the GM of this team. But like you just said, Bill Belichick, You've, obviously the head coach for this entire run New England. Hard to see Andy Reid being the head coach for another dozen years. Well, I mean, that would mean he'd be a 78-year-old man on the sideline. No. Mahomes would be I'm saying that's impossible, a 40-year-old quarterback, right. which is entirely possible. Right. All that Kelsey would possible. be a 46 year old tight end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. That's the point. Yeah, that's the point. Rasheed Rice might still be cooking. You never know, but there'll be a lot of new faces, a lot of overturn uh, throughout but, the years. Like and I'm sure the pushback is just take a look at all the new faces here. LeJarrius Sneed, Trent McDuffie, yep. Rasheed Rice, Isaiah Pacheco. Well, like we were Creed pointing Humphrey. out, this was the year to get him. This was the year someone else uh, in the AFC needed to step up, knock these guys out. Lamar Jackson, MVP, Josh Allen, this is his time. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Tua, Dolphins had a great year. We love that story. Couldn't do it. And again, we're going to have a parade in Kansas City tomorrow. It truly is amazing. Yeah, pretty wild. But it's also proof there's still a long way to go. In the meantime, though, my suggestion would 100% be, if I may. Please do. Go all in. GM Eisen? Go all in for next year. For sure. And figure out the the rest later. So what does Go that mean? In. Does that mean getting Patrick Mahomes to restructure so you can free up some more space? I'm sure. Or what? I, I don't know. I, I I honestly don't know. That's not my area of expertise. Yeah. But Brett Veach is smart enough to know how to pull it off and how to do it. Just go all in for next year. Last team, last team that tried for it. And what was the Patriots in 05? What did they do in 05 in their three-peat year? Oh, in 05, oh, hold on, sorry, I just started out. They, well, in 05, they made the conference championship game. Okay. So they came close for their three-peat. So. You know, you all right over there? Uh, well, I, I shut the window, and then you oh, asked okay. me a question. <laughs> sorry about that. What do you want? Why do you shut windows? I don't understand what's a shutting had, the window. I He's got like 7,000 of them open, open so his, I needed to like create a little laptop. bit of space, and I thought we were moving on from that. No, I'm, I'm just wanting to. My fault. <laughs> <laughs> totally, I just didn't know if you froze over Totally there. my bad. Sorry, they lost in the division round in 05 conference championship. Division round. Yeah, division round. They went 10 and 6. Still won the division. Listen, you've got an opportunity to do something nobody's ever done. That's why Andy Reid is saying, yeah, I'm back. I think Kelsey's going to come back. Just go ahead and wrap it up and do it best you can. Figure it out. Pace need pay Jones, figure out a couple guys to pay. If you got to ask Mahomes for a little help, you know, I'm sure we'll figure out an Otani deal where you give it to him down the road. So are you bringing somebody in? Are we, are we signing DeAndre Hopkins? Like, what, what is the move there? I don't know. Why do you? When it's all said and done, they, they've just, everyone's like, oh, Tyree Kill's gone. You're screwed. Well, they went back to back. Yeah. <laughs> give me a break. Yeah, it'd be, it would have been so much easier with someone like D-Hop. Sure, though. but, you know, but uh, they didn't need him. Yeah. End of the day. But Rich, if you're that- Nicole Hardman uh, scored on the 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 three the three uh, corn doggers are Sky Moore, <laughs> true, and 
Kadarius Tony, two guys who basically fell off the planet this year, and Nicole Hardman, who fell off the planet with the Jets and wound up back on the Chiefs. Amazing. Juju Smith Schuster. That's who they want it with. Draft another one. Find the next Rasheed Rice and go to work. It's crazy. That's my two cents for Brett Veach. And by the way, you're welcome. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 